so this painting is about refugees as well. Yeah, it's about, you know, uh, the, 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 the boxes in which, you know, you put things and you move from one place to another. And a certain madness that hangs in over your head. Hmm. The unexploded bomb in yeah. the painting. But there's trees growing out of the bomb. Yeah, right. Or, this, or the bomb is blocking the growth of the tree. And the tree was already also uprooted. So, mm -hmm. But yet there is a branch. It's a branch of peace that is being uh, offered. So I don't know. I mean, I, you know, the, 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 the one of the things that I try to avoid is having anything overly explicit or mm -hmm. Or literal meaning only in one direction because yes. then, then 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 the stop becomes a kind of a propaganda. Then you sell it. You all mm -hmm. I want to to achieve is is to question the the viewer or to have the viewer to question the meaning of the painting in order to make him think, or her think. He has a suitcase there, or it could be a laptop, there. or he's the object he's holding. In it's the, a computer. It's a computer. It's it a is, laptop. Yeah. Oh, that's the first time I've seen a modern a image in your painting. <laughs> <laughs> it's a laptop. It's a laptop, yes. And, and there is the reaching out of the sky, is the famous uh, ladder of Jacob. Uh, uh, and I, th I think I called it the latest from Jacob. Mm. Jacob who, who was connecting with all these angels that were going to the sky, coming from the sky, and so on. Except he's connecting with the angels over the internet, maybe? Uh, <laughs> maybe, yeah, not sure. And uh, while the letters to the sky are kind of... Uh, disrupted by by a certain number six that is embedded there and are disrupted by some stones maybe of the intifada you know moments of thoughts that accompany me when when i create these paintings well and i i do see in the paintings just as an educator that there's an invitation inside the painting to think right. to to come question, up with ideas also, what do i mean so I, I very much believe in the Socratic uh, system of, 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 of uh, education and uh, uh, conversation in which you ask people questions. And then it is through their answers that they, yes, that they rather realize than a didactic. where we are. Well, and we've talked about this and I've written about this and about how your, you approach memory through association, yes. through linking images and seeing in the, in the span of a lifetime how those images are linked and what they reveal. Every time, and, yes, yeah. and every time in a slightly different form, of course, because this is uh, how memory is. It's, it's, it's always a recreation. Well, and it's also like each one of us has our own private set of symbols. Oh, so, uh, Absolutely. That a symbol Absolutely. that means a, a pair for you would yeah. not be a, the exactly. same as uh, for sure. somebody, sure. somebody else. And so, looking at your body of work of your painting, <coughs> it's like you, the viewer, learns to read the the symbols, yeah. Yeah. and to and to interpret the the symbols. Um, so how, that leads to my next question: Is how do painting, how does painting and writing interrelate for you? I, I, I think that uh, these two elements complete themselves very much. Uh, I guess um, when I look, when I think of my life, uh, I have worked for the theater. Mm -hmm. I've done a good number of productions, costumes, lights, uh, scenery, and so on. I like to write. I like to read. I like to paint. And I had today, uh, age 20, I wonder if I would have gone into painting. Mm. Maybe I would have gone into filmmaking. Yes. Because mm. uh, movies contain all of these elements True. together. The only problem with movies is they do not give you the 
incredible luxury that painting gives you, which is total control. Mm. When you are painting, you have a total control. You are by yourself. You are with the painting. You do with it whatever you want. When you make a film, oh my goodness, you have producers, you have, mm -hmm. you have investors, you have people who may disagree with your message and so on. You have actors that may like each other or may very much dislike each other and so on. You have to battle. There is an, in, 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 in the realm of movie making, there is an enormous waste of talent, mm. an enormous waste of talent yeah. in all the conflicts. While when you are in front of a painting or you're also in front of the computer, uh, you are just one-to-one -one and you control this thing. So I don't know. So finally, when I think about it uh, more deeply, I think that I'm very happy with my choice. Mm. <laughs> and, um, uh, and I like there's those two things because the perception of a painting is something that is extremely immediate. I like about it. I look at the painting, I know exactly what I've seen. Uh, I look at the book, I'll need several hours to know what is there. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yes. I look at the painting, I see everything, I don't have to memorize, mm. and now I'm speaking as a beholder, I don't have to remember the side, uh, uh, the, the, the left, when I look at the right. While when I read a book, I made it a very long book, and when I am uh, already uh, far away into my 80s, I still need a lot of memory when I read a book to know what was in the pages before yes. and how certain things of before, uh, they, they, they return later. And, um, and then, I, then I understand much better uh, what Nabokov said. He said, I'm only writing for people who would reread my books, mm. who read my books twice. Because yeah. uh, one reading doesn't give you an idea of what it is about. This is very true. The first reading is more yeah. for the plot and the story, the plot, and then the yeah. second time you... You see how you, it was made, you, and this is why yeah. uh, yeah. my wife and I, we have a passion for a second or a third viewing of uh, movies. Mm. Because yes. it's only then, when we know exactly what is happening, that we really enjoy the work of the actors, of yes. the, the yes. designers, of the filmmakers, and so on. Yeah. The, the analysis. And also reading some books is, is very much the same. Yeah. Okay, so next question is, how do you feel about today's Lithuania? Um, has sufficient healing uh, taken place since the events of the Holocaust in your childhood? I mean, I, it is for me uh, very difficult to come up with, uh, with a very clear and, and, and uh, uh, well-informed uh, judgment. What I can say <clears throat> from my own uh, point of view, I am very grateful to the people who have uh, created the uh, Bach Museum in Vilnius. Mm -hmm. I am very grateful to the authorities that have recognized me as, as, as a positive uh, force in that. I was, as you know, knighted. I, was, uh, yes. I became the, the honorary citizen, so citizen of Vilna. I mean, I had have medals from Lithuania that I could um, cover myself up with. And, and all this is maybe a fantastic feeling. It is also because I accepted all these things not as a single person. I accepted it always as a recognition of somebody who represents a much larger number of people who have disappeared, mm -hmm. who are not there. So I always stress that I'm accepting it in the name of. Yes. Um, at the same time, I know uh, the world in which uh, we exist. I mean, democracies are a very um, fragile um, form of governing. Uh, I know that there are very bad winds blowing in, 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 in East uh, Europe. I know that the people today in power that uh, control a certain coalition cannot guarantee to me that in a few years <coughs> some dangerous uh, powers might 
take it over. I mean, uh, Lithuania has this uh, frightening bear, mm. a neighbor, and uh, Poland is not really very encouraging, yeah. and um, Hungary even worse. So uh, I, for the time being, I feel very grateful to the courageous people who still keep a certain balance of things and manage quite wisely to, um, to hold on to it. And I'm extremely grateful to the people who, in the Bach Museum, bring a certain life of, of the contemporary now with the system of making the the back road uh, with uh, all these mm -hmm. elements. Oh, yes, that, I love that project. Yeah, yeah, that, that bring to young people my story and so on. And, uh, and, and I have uh, always repeated this is a story which is happens to be the story of one person, but it also sheds a light on a reality on on something that I know that the young generation Lithuanians doesn't know or knew or knows very little about. Because again, political interests and of the past have wiped out certain times. And, um... As you reflect back on a lifetime of painting, what is the single most important life lesson that you have taken away? Mm. I think is the appreciation of, of the incredible gift that I have of still being able to produce paintings and still hoping that I have not yet done the best I could. Mm. Okay, thank you. Final question. Um, what would you like to say, um, what would you like to say about art and about the power of writing and literature for future generations, can art and literature heal, and in, in what in in what ways? Art and literature are words that can be defined in many ways, and they can represent very many things. Uh, for me, art and literature literature are a form of communication in which certain individuals try to share their experience of life with other individuals. And um, it, art and literature may change their technique, their forms. I, I think how literature began before the uh, invention of script of, 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 of writing mm -hmm. uh, when around a, a, a fire in a cave uh, someone was telling a story and mm -hmm. so on and then it became a printed page and, and then it became a series for the television and so on so uh, the forms change but there is a basic need of people to share with others their mm -hmm. experience of life their lessons and they want to speak. So it's a matter of conversation, it's, it's a matter of communication. And um, it has, of course, also its aesthetic gratifications. There's no doubt that uh, there is such a thing as uh, uh, the decorative element of, of art, a certain sense of search for a word that I'm always very much afraid to use, very reluctant, is the word beauty, because no one knows what beauty is. I mean, mm -hmm. beauty um, is for one generation, something totally different from beauty for another generation. I mean, mm -hmm. um, the beautiful ladies of Rubens would have been uh, put now on a um, very weight strong watchers. diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but I think it's a matter of communication, it's a matter of sharing. Of sharing something we have to say. Yeah. This is this is literature, this is painting. So do you have any final thoughts to wrap up our conversation perhaps about post memory or 
or catharsis through painting and writing or any any I, ideas that I come to mind? Oh, very much to my painting a certain a certain balance that I found in uh, in my life. I mean, mm -hmm. the fact that my paintings are used for so many educational projects, it certainly gave me a sense that it is not only a, uh, a, sol a self-indulgence of a mm. obsessive uh, the man who has to put some paint on the canvas every day, mm. but that it also has meaning for other people and it mm. gives a sense. So, so it is. It's, it's a very rewarding, almost uh, in this sense, a miraculous uh, perception of <laughs> of what might happen in life. Well, there's a strong sense of social responsibility. In there your is work. a sense, yeah. There is a sense of social responsibility because we owe. I mean, uh, for being there, we owe so much. We owe so much. I owe so much to my father who convinced my mother to marry him. Mm. I, mean, I wouldn't have existed if those two did mm. not get together. If my mother wouldn't have believed that the, that the uh, gun with which my father was going to kill her and kill himself was a toy gun, uh, maybe she wouldn't have married him. Mm. If she was not afraid to die. Mm. I, I mean, I wrote about it. I think yeah. it's a very, yeah. it was a very <laughs> ridiculous and funny thing. In, but I, but I'm here. I'm here. Yes. Yeah. There's one image I keep looking at over yeah. here um, that I'm very intrigued with. It's 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 this one with the, yeah. the older man. Yeah. Maybe can you tell me a little bit about that? I'm well, just so curious about it. He is uh, he is working uh, on a canvas, but the yeah. canvas has not yet been stretched. Uh -huh. he, is, uh, he is so eager to start painting. Uh -huh. <laughs> Could that be you? <laughs> it might be me. It's, uh, there is a lot of self-irony. There's yeah. a lot of self-irony in my work. Well, that's there's so much humor in yeah. in your work in and in your writing, everything. and and everything you have a wonderful funny. sense of of humor. And you've said that you've said here in our previous interview, you said yeah, that it, humor is a way is of, a of, of distancing ourselves yeah. from the real pain, from yeah. the real scare, from the real fear. It is. It is something that gives us a perspective. I mean, um, humor and irony uh, are certainly very much related. And, and in great, I can hardly imagine uh, great literature without a, a certain amount of irony. Mm. I mean, you uh, masters of irony, Kafka was a master yes. of irony. Thomas Mann was a master of irony. Philip Roth was a master of yes. irony. So, I mean, th th these are things that are, uh, even Balzac, e even Zola, I mean, uh, yeah. th 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 you don't have it. Uh, when the narrative element was um, uh, thrown out from the plastic arts because uh, of the advent of uh, photography and cinema and so on, artists felt suddenly that what they were doing had to become purely uh, uh, dealing with formal and color compositions and so on. The, the narrative element was for quite a long time uh, thrown out from the arena of, of the arts. It came back, it came back of course, it came back with the pop art, it came back with the conceptual art, it, 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 it came back because people cannot give up the idea of the need mm. Mm. to share a certain experience. So the narration returned. Yeah. 